Wow. The unthinkable could happen. We're not really unthinkable. Y'all remember this? When Nintendo and Sony were buddy-buddy and we're about to make a console together? We might come full circle in 2020. <gasps> Who'd have thought? Oh, we have most Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? That's right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays? everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up bro ski you know you want to do it bro do y'all remember the playstation super nintendo or the super nintendo playstation when nintendo and sony were joining forces to make a console together we could be coming full circle 20 plus years later Bro, in a recent survey, an official Sony survey sent out, they asked, would you play PlayStation Remote Play on a Nintendo Switch? Meaning, they are, it's, they are looking into the possibilities of having PlayStation 4 Remote Play on the Nintendo Switch now. Is Obi-Wan saying, oh, PlayStation Remote Play is coming to the Nintendo Switch? No. All I'm saying is something could be going on behind the scenes. The fact that an official PlayStation Sony survey is asking this question to users. PlayStation Remote Play is pretty much almost like um, Sony's um, cloud service. They are going to be partnering with Microsoft. <laughs> They're partnering with Microsoft for their cloud service. And so Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo could all be on the Switch. Mind blown. Now, for those of you that are saying, no way. There's no way in the world Nintendo's going to have cloud gaming. Not right now. They're dedicated to home hardware having our systems and our hardware bro right now as i speak you can stream assassin's creed odyssey and resident evil 7 on your nintendo switch in japan the only thing that's present preventing this from also being on in the western shores is the infrastructure in japan it's a smaller country and so nintendo has the infrastructure to, to have cloud streaming on their platform cloud streaming <laughs> could be nintendo's counter to the playstation 5 and xbox cloud nintendo just said we have no plans to launch new hardware this year this is software we could get an upgrade on our nintendo switch to stream huge blockbuster triple a games on the switch as an option i think this is a viable option bro y'all know how microsoft and nintendo has been buddy buddy microsoft is already helping the playstation 5 with their cloud streaming services that's already confirmed. It's been announced. What if Microsoft is also helping Nintendo with their cloud streaming services? Bro, we can get big, huge AAA. Because we're already getting um, um, good games on the Switch. But <coughs> a lot of those games have some issues. I think this way Nintendo could keep the momentum of the current Switch hardware and introduce cloud streaming as an option as an option i know dudes are i know my subscribers you guys are already raging in the um youtube chat oh there's no way no way jose is nintendo going to have cloud streaming bro 
they're doing it right now as we speak already and as an option i don't get why dudes are so opposed to options if you still want to buy your games on cartridges nintendo could still have that option but for games like cyberpunk 2077 whatever the name of the game is there's no way that game is going to be running on this even though we got witcher 3 on the switch but cyberpunk is closer to next gen, hard next gen hardware than witcher 3 was and so there's no way we're going to get that game to run properly natively on the switch why oppose why are you opposed to that option bro it's either don't get the game or have an option to stream the game we got to go for the option to stream the game i think nintendo could be on to something big if they go that route now next news item lit 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 stuff today bro ea has teased more games and projects coming to the nintendo switch this is what um ea recently said concerning the nintendo switch we are very pleased with how well Nintendo has done with the Switch. Um, EA's Chief Operating Officer, um, Black Jorgensen, has said. I mean, people love the platform. They really enjoy it. Bro, only over 50 million already. This is what he continues to say. We are always looking and discussing with Nintendo what else we can put on the platform. And as you can imagine, as the platform grows, our interest in adding content grows. And so EA is like... Y'all grow y'all in stall base. We'll put more games on the system. This is what he also said. And you can't hate on this next comment because it's facts. But we're also conscious of the fact that the top selling titles by a long shot are all Nintendo software. Which is fabulous software. But it helps us balance sort of the realities of our big markets. Of how big our markets can be there. But trust that we are looking at it. And he spoke some facts. Um, Nintendo just had their recent financial reports. Bro, Nintendo's first party games are selling ridiculously on the Switch. Breaking all kinds of records. Mario Kart, 22 million. Pokemon, 16 million in like 3-4 months. And so Nintendo exclusives are selling fabulously on the Switch. But he's saying... He's not sure how their games would sell. I think they're, they're going to have to gauge what games would sell best on the Switch. Two games. <laughs> now, Madden. I think Madden should be on the Switch. But there are two games that I think is a no-brainer. Why it's not on the Switch yet beats me. The Sims? Sims 4? The Sims would, set, would be perfect for the switch audience it's like animal crossing but with adults and real life bills and stuff and this game right here plants versus zombies battle for neighborville i have no idea why this game isn't on the switch already i have this on my xbox one x this game is so good bro and so ea interested in the switch We'll have to see what comes of it, but they do have uh, more games in the works for the Switch. Can't wait for some 2020 announcements. Next news item. This is coming courtesy Game Explain. There is a rumor that Platinum Games will be porting the wonderful 101 to the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4. I wasn't feeling this game on my Wii U because of the touch controls, drawing the circles. If they elim they're going to have to eliminate that because if they're putting it on the PlayStation 4. Without the touch controls, I think this could be potentially a good game. I would give this game a second try on the Switch. But the news doesn't stop there. I'm also going to announce the January $60 eShop code giveaway at the end of this video. Stay tuned. And we're doing one for February as well. Nintendo has just announced over 15 million uni uh, accounts have paid Nintendo Switch Online services. Great to see that happening. Um, our Nintendo Switch Online continues to grow as the platform grows. Now, it's time for the January giveaway. 
I'm doing this every month. And so this is just going to be for January. I'm going to, this is bro. This is, I'm not editing this. This is just going to be me live randomly picking someone on Twitter. And I'm going to do the same thing at the end of February each month, giving away a $60 eShop code. So without further ado, let's, um, all right. This is my tweet. This is my pinned tweet, so make sure you're following me on Twitter and you're subscribed on YouTube to be in the February giveaway if you don't win in January. So this is my pinned tweet on my Twitter. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and retweet this tweet. So, let's see. 236 retweets. And so let's see who retweeted. These, these, these are all the people who retweeted it. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm scrolling down, scrolling up, all the way up, scrolling all the way down, up, down. I'm just randomly doing this. And whatever one it lands on, it is Ryan Kipe. Ryan Kipple. Ryan Kipple, you are our winner. I'm going to click on, I'm doing this live. I'm going to um, tweet at. How do I tweet him? I'm doing this live, bro. Ryan Kipple, you just won our $60 eShop code. And February, we're going to have another one. Um, Ryan Kipple, you are our winner. I'm going to tweet it out. It's going to be all live on my Twitter. Uh, we're doing this every month. $60 eShop code. I'm giving away to lucky subscribers to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at obi one Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways, but that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. Two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.